Hey everybody, this is Jackson and Haskell back in. We have Alex Montero. He was part of GSA for half a year, right? Correct, correct. Uh, what, what what were you doing part of GCSA? Um, so I was the vice president of finance. Um, That's cool. Basically, I am the chief financial officer of all of student government. Um, so I overlook all of the transactions and payments and any sort of financial business that happens with all the different, I think there's like 56, 57 clubs, wow. organizations on campus. Um, that must be tough. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but there's there's myself, there's director of business management, uh, Who's David that? Giordano. Um, oh, yeah. a phenomenal I job. Heard of him. Um, he, he's taking over for you. He, or somebody Yeah, else. I think he's filling in my position, right. Yeah. Anna. And then, I'm not sure. Um, and then there's a, a panel of representatives and mm -hmm. people that we are, we're known as like the financial affairs committee. Um, so there's a whole, like a whole body within GCSA that's dedicated to watching the finances and fiscal stewardship and things of that nature. Really? So how many people are on our, are on finance committee with you? Um, there's myself. Well, there's the vice president of finance. There's director of business management. And I think this year there's four or five other students. That's cool. What year are you? I'm a sophomore. What made you want to be part of GCSA? Um, it was actually suggested to me by one of the people that was running for president last year. Um, excuse me. That's and um, yeah, they suggested that they thought it might be a good fit. And I thought because my major is international affairs and economics, um, I thought that could cover the not necessarily international, but the affairs relations aspect of mm -hmm. it, um, while also continuing with the, the finance economics overview type chapter um, to continue with that branch of learning. Um, I thought it'd be a lot of good experience. It was a lot of work, um, a lot of long hours, a lot of unexpected meetings and unexpected issues that came up. Um, but you have a panel and you have you're all just, it's like one body, so you all want to see it be successful. So, it's it's a good organization to be a part of. I'm glad that I did it. Um, what was the hardest part about being CCSA? The hardest part? Um, I think, well, one I think one of the most difficult pieces was, like I mentioned, the unexpected meetings. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's difficult to manage... Um, clarity of information across such a large organization mm -hmm. um, because the um, the budget of that's given to GCSA um, is quite a hefty sum. I think it's upwards of the figures of three hundred thousand dollars. Really? I mean, I know what the figure is, but I, I can't say it out loud. Yeah, um, it makes sense. But uh, so it's it's. I mean, that's a lot of tangible, real money that students pay to come to the school and so it's our job to make sure that we put that money to good use um, and like I said over such a large body it is sometimes difficult to keep track of all of that um, and to manage that and make sure that everybody is being allocated how much they need and um, how much they're asking for but also making sure that the money is being spent according to the principles that student government lives by. Really? Because uh, you said you help balancing club uh, club budgets, right? Mm -hmm. How much does each club get approximately, or does it, it varies? It varies per club. Okay. For example, Campus Events Council, which puts on events for mm -hmm. the entire campus, yeah. um, and brings in speakers and brings in events. Their budget is a little bit bigger than, for example, Badminton Club, um, which is a smaller club, and also they don't need a whole lot of funding uh, mm. because once you purchase some of the materials that they have. They get to use them um, repeatedly. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it, it really just depends on what organization we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, what did you like about GCSA the most during your half year fit? Um, I think I appreciated the um, exposure to kind of the background of what it looks like to run an organization of that size and. Mm -hmm of that nature, um, where you, you're in charge of a whole bunch of different organizations, but in the same way you have that you want to see them be successful, you also have to be like a gentle, and 
sometimes a necessarily firm reminder that maybe you can't spend this much money on this event because it isn't really bettering the entire campus. It's mostly just for one small select group. Um, so, and then through that, you know, there's disagreement, um, but it's all for the sake of bettering the student population as a whole. Um, and so that's, that's basically the bottom line once you come down to it at the end of the day. Okay, I just have two more questions for sure. you. Um, have you done any initiatives, or is that just reps? That's generally representatives. Okay. Responsibility. Have you helped on any of them? I have, yes. Okay, like what kinds? Um, like there was, there was, there um, was the Wittenberg window. Um, there was a, a a grand opening event type thing, uh, which I was a part of and I helped out on. Um, even just like little events, like the voting. <clears throat> at the beginning of the year for students that were running. Yep. I was a part of managing that event. Um, just little projects um, here and there. But generally, that is a, a representative's yeah. responsibility. That's cool. Uh, what rep or is, what person have you worked most in GCSA? Um, not I including think, your board, uh, not including your committee. I think I had a, a healthy amount of exposure to every to all of the GCSA people. Um, specifically, the executive cabinet. Yeah. Um, President Anna Ober, who is doing a phenomenal job. Um, David Giordano, like I said, Director of Club Development, Christina Meneghini. Um, the Director of Communications. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of great people that do a lot of awesome work. Um, and it's a lot, most of it is behind the scenes, um, which is fine, but. Uh, okay. Just, uh, just it's, sorry. it's excellent work that they do, so it should be recognized. What person or thing would you miss the most? Now, what thing are you going to miss most, or person? Do you think you're going to miss most in GCSA? I think I would miss the most. Or person. Um, I would say that I miss, I, I do miss the conversations of how, how is this going to be bettering the Gordon community? Mm -hmm. um, because I did enjoy that, because it is good to see students putting other students interests first and not um, just this select group making decisions and like that's it like yeah. they, they, I mean it is a select group but they do make decisions keeping in mind that there are there is like a large body of students that they're trying to manage and um, represent um, but I'll also miss my committee um, we had a good time uh, we got to know each other very well uh, we had planned some events on the side just to go out and Get to know each other a little better. That's nice. But at the same time, doing high quality work. So cool. Uh, I'd just like to thank you to Alex. He was my actually Oak Creek leader. I was last, last summer. I was one of the best out there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. And you know my RA really well, Daniel Gray. Daniel Gray. Yeah, he yeah. lived in my hall last year. Yeah. Good I'd job. just like to thank you, no, Alex. This it. will be on YouTube later today. Great. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to do this. No problem. I had no free time all day, so. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Where to